Well, this is Joe Van Cleve, and I'm at the Secret World Headquarters of Camera Dactyl Camera, and we're working on, Ethan actually is working, I'm just goofing off, but I'm, he's working on a crazy idea, which I would characterize it as a pinhole microscope for an iPhone. Yep, <laughs> that's what we're doing. <laughs> so where did this idea come from? What, what caused it? Uh, so I'm working on some more secretive uh, white label products for another company. I'm just building some photo detectors and I accidentally made a microscope for my webcam while testing something out. Just with a, like a little, um, a tiny pinhole with some very precise drill bits that I have. And uh, yeah, we thought we'd just like make a little clip for an iPhone, which has a little bright light right next to the lens, so we could take pictures of the ants in my backyard. <laughs> this was the um, pinhole that I drilled, which you probably can't see unless no. you look at it maybe up to a light. Yes, we actually see it. So we can strap it to my webcam. <laughs> we need a little bit of lighting here because it's mm -hmm. very dark. Let's see? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Extremely close. Um, this is a 0.2 millimeter? Uh, 0.5. 0.5 millimeter. Yeah, that's right. That's pretty amazing. What I, what is funny is I can see your head behind you. Behind yeah. You. It has that pinhole depth of field. Yeah, it's pretty wild. So, you know, kind of the cool thing about the iPhone is, uh, or any phone really, is it's got this uh, LED flash here. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, if you're looking at something really close, it doesn't have to be super bright to illuminate even through that 50 micron pinhole. And so what we're going to do is like make a little clip to go over uh, the lens and illuminate from almost right next to it. We should be able to get some pretty close up pictures mm -hmm. of the ants. Um, and so we just made like a quick little sketch. Mm -hmm. um, and then we took that over here just to make like a little mock-up prototype. Um, so yeah. we'll just glue the pinhole or use my favorite material duct tape yes. there and then it's got like a little impression for the lens and it should just uh, clip over the phone and um, I'm printing it pretty solid so it's strong but also out of a slightly springier material. And it's kind of just doing its thing. So the thing I like about coming over to Ethan's is when he's not in the middle of manufacturing things for his job, we have time to play. And he has these tools available, the 3D printing and CAD design software tools that make it easy to just mock up some crazy idea and then build it, print it in a few minutes. And then if it has a problem, you can change the design and iterate the design and print another one if you want to. So uh, that's what we're doing here on a Tuesday uh, afternoon, and it's going to be fun. That's my pinhole shim stuff. What uh, thickness do you like to use? You, oh, you use the beer can? or I use the Laura's Fizzy Water. Fizzy size. Water pinholes. Yeah. Totally so good. you're going to be drilling this, right? With yeah. a PCB drill. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, you betcha. Yeah. Some glue. This is where Ethan glues his fingers together on camera. <laughs> you know, multiple times when I was a kid, we used to build model airplanes. Yeah. And my stepmom came home to find my dad had glued his fingers to a control rod <laughs> and uh, both hands and was waiting for her to come home to free him with the nail polish remover. Well, these are drills for circuit boards. They're very small. You kind of need a microscope to see them. And... I guess if we were doing this professionally, I would build an alignment jig. Uh, there we go. I don't know if that'll work, but let's see. Hopefully I won't get glue on my iPhone. We'll find out here. Oh, I'm at 3%. we got to test fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. So I'm a little off. But let's see how close we can get. That's wild. So 50 nanometers, I think, is, um, you know, past where you get, like, really good 
fraction. Watch, watch me like have a hundred Th ant bites. This is the part where Ethan yeah. gets bit. Yeah. Oh, it's wow. It's them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fire ants in the backyard. Um, we need some cold sedated ants. Ooh, that's an idea. I can't see anything. Now he's on the back of your, your front of your hand. Oh, that's a good size ant. Let's see. Let's see what video we got here. No ants were harmed in the making of this movie. They're so fast. Oh, whoa, you can see their jaws. What if you shoot at 60 frames a second, you could slow it down. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Slow-mo. Okay. Let's see. Slow-mo ant cam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, slow down, yeah, look at that. Wow, you can see their little antenna. There's, There's gotta be a music you can do to this. Make it into an yeah. eerie sci-fi movie. Oh, yeah. So this is pretty good. I would say, um, I need to shift this pinhole down by like a millimeter and a half to get it centered. Yeah. Uh, do you want one of these things? Sure. I'll, I'll charge my yeah. phone and make you a new yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. So this little uh, pinhole microscope idea of Ethan's. It's really a hybrid optical system. So you guys might remember uh, reading about the early days of photography in the 19th century and supposedly pinhole cameras were used back in the day. And that's kind of a misconception because a true pinhole only aperture is very small, doesn't let through much light. And the early emulsions were wet emulsions and they were not sensitive to much light. They were an ISO of under one probably for like daguerreotype. So the early optics were really glass lenses, but then they sometimes used a hybrid system with a small aperture that was near pinhole sized on a glass lens to kind of get an extreme kind of wide depth of focus effect. We figured out that the original misfitting one fits Joe's phone perfectly. I'm going to print myself a new one, but I gave Joe the original. And now he is going to uh, do some slow-mo ant photography. Oh, you can get closer than that, Joe. <laughs> I'm willing to get bit in the name of science. Put my hand on the ground. You have to remember the movie Them was photographed partly in New Mexico. The giant ants down by Alamogordo. Yeah, the radiation from the Trinity test created giant ants. See. They look so much scarier on the damn microscope. <laughs> and we got some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, so I have not been bitten enough to <laughs> not want to make one that fits my phone as good as it fits Joe's phone. So I'm going to run a second one off right now. This is Rev Zero, the prototype of the It Bit Me microscope. The ant microscope. Ooh. <laughs> over here. Ooh. It's pretty good. I think this should have a bigger image circle. Yeah. Um I it's closer. It out. Yeah. yeah. Coffee break. Coffee break. So this isn't really a commercial product per se, because no. you've already released the files for free, yes. but where do you see the fun of this device? I mean, I get a lot of bugs around. I like picking <laughs> them up. I could see it being useful for looking at very, very tiny photo detectors close up, which mm. I've been working on, or maybe making like small mechanism uh, videos just for, you know, engineering purposes. But mm -hmm. I mean, like we can see easily. Fingerprint ridges, right? Yeah, but I mean, beyond that, like dirt inside of my oh, yeah. Yeah. fingers. I think this one's a little closer to the lens than mine, than yeah. yours. And like, we're close to seeing individual cells here. Really simple drill fixture. Um, we can make this guy. See, just poke it in there and drill it. Yep. Doing this by feel. Take the fixture off and. Looks like a pretty good centered pinhole. Yeah. Is that working? You've already burned your left eye out anyways. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. Okay, blink. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, whoa. That's great. 
You see my hairs? You could call this product the eyeball. <laughs> yeah, it's what everybody needs on their phone. Time to go to the ants again. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm excited. I only have 17% battery life. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, they are biting me. I think I can see that in the shadow. You definitely don't like this. Okay, okay, I'm done. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, what a wonderful day for science. Whew. They're so fast. It's them. These ants are totally awesome. They work together. Teamwork, it's how you make the dream work. <laughs> Be like the ants. Man, I really need to glue my iPhone next to the uh, hummingbird feeder. Yeah. Something. I'm really surprised by this. STL files will be on GitHub. They are on GitHub already. Yes. Pretty useless without this video. I don't think people will know what they are, but... Do you need to take pictures of ants? Have Chad got the product for you. The I just got bit clip on pinhole phone microscope. You need it. Just clip it on your phone. Real simple. Turn your phone on. Then you can look at stuff like the dirt in your fingers. Whoa, whoa. Can you see me? It's inside my eyeball. Whoa. Check it out now. It's on GitHub. You can download it for free. Whoa. <laughs> Touch my eyeball. You're fine. Ouch. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm done. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs>